big bird. Mm. My passy. <gasps> your passy? Yeah. Someone took your passy? <gasps> oh no! Ah! Hello, this is Flossie and M's detective agency. How may I help you? There's been a robbery and someone stole my baby's pacifier! Somebody stole your baby's pacifier? Yes, and I need help! Well, we got superheroes and we got detectives. Which one you want? I need a detective! Detectives? No problem. I'll send over my very best detectives right now. Now, what do you need? What happened, Jordan? Tell them. Say, my passy is... Gone. Her passy's gone. Someone stole the pacifier, and we don't know what happened. I was reading a book, and it just went dark, and then it was gone. Right, Jordan? Right. Let's look investigate. Let's investigate. Let's investigate. Did you feel the villain snatch the passy out of Jordan's mouth? You don't know? I think this is the spot of the passing. Yeah. I, I see, see fingerprints. Let's go interview everybody in the house to make sure that they aren't the thieves. Right, because they were here right. when the crime happened. Right. Right. I've been trying to fix this washing machine all day. It just seems can't stop the leak. Hi, Mr. Butler. Good, Good, evening. Evening. Good afternoon, officers. Do you know anything about a missing pacifier? Uh, I don't know anything about a missing pacifier. I was trying to fix the washing machine because it has a leak. But maybe you should try pregnant Penelope. She's due in a couple of weeks, and she will definitely have need of a pacifier. Okay. Okay. Flossy and M's Detective Agency, how may I help you? Hello, Miss Flossy. Oh, hi, baby. We got the lead on pregnant Penelope. You got anything on her? Let me check. Okay, let's see here. Oh, her, uh, she pregnant. And her name is Penelope. You need anything else? No. Thank you. No problem. Bye, baby. Hi, pregnant Penelope. Nice to meet you. Miss Flossie never said that she was a cartoon. Right. Oh, hi, baby. Good to see you all. What brings you here? We're, we thought you might know where the missing pacifier is. I wouldn't know where pacifiers are. I tell you what, though. I got a lot of pacifiers because the Neighbors had a baby shower for me, so no, 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 I wouldn't know where that pacifier is. But I'll tell you one thing, you ought to check with 80's Eddie, because he always comes to those parties, because every year he wins the Soul Train Dancing Contest. And you know, this year he didn't show up, so if I were you on that pacifier, I would check with him. Okay. Goodness. Flossie and M's Detective Agency, how may I help you? Hello, Miss Flossie. Oh, hi, baby. We got a lead on 80's Eddie. You got anything on him? Woo! 80's Eddie, 80's Eddie. This fool was doing the kid and play kick step in the 80's, fell, broke his leg, had to get that amputated, hit his head, and now he feels like he is stuck in the 80's. That's why we call him 80's Eddie. Okay, bye. Bye. Hi 80's Eddie. We just talked from, to pregnant Penelope. She said that she might know something about a missing pal pacifier at Everett's party. Oh, I couldn't make that party, you know? Uh, I'm nursing this arm right here. Last week I was practicing a brand new kid and play kick step. I was doing my wipe, had my Reebok, 
And then I was trying to do my kid to play the kick step. Things didn't go so well. I fell over and broke my arm right here. I'm sorry for you. Yeah. If you had one guess, who would you guess you stole the pacifier? Oh, that's easy. Mr. Harry Chess is the meanest person I know. If anybody would steal a baby's pacifier, it's Mr. Harry Chess. Okay, Mr. Harry Chess, where were you on August 15th at 8 o'clock? What do you two got me in this for? Huh? Why are you pinching me? I did nothing. Alright, so, where were you when the pacifier got stolen? I have nothing. First off, I've been growing hair on my chest since before uh, you two kids were cops. Tell me where you were. Tell us where you were when the cops were. You got nothing on me. Done. You got nothing on me, I tell you. Nothing. Let's get out the heavyweights, boys. Oh, yeah. You want to know what? Where I was last week? Yes. Sure, I'll tell you. I was at Pond Crest Lane and I was hanging out with Randy. Good job, Madison. What? She's one of yours? Yeah. Aww. I heard all about it. Yeah, well, I guess that tells you that I didn't take any passes. Yeah. Now. I know who did it. Butler. Hello, Mr. Butler, better man. Uh, yes, officer. Hello, how are you today? I right. searched the glass back to you. Do you ever see, fix that washing machine? Yes, uh, officer. By the way, I did fix that washing machine leak, and it Can has I been perfect ever since. Uh, why, well, sure, if you'd like to look. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. You're the thief. Oh, dreads. I would have gotten away with it completely if it hadn't been for you meddling kids. Their names may not be well known, at least not until today. Uh, they are heroes uh, to those who need it the most. And together they remind us that we all have a purpose on this earth that goes beyond our own lives and our own individual needs. And they teach us that no matter what challenges we face, we each have the power to make the world a better place. So uh, congratulations to all of you. Uh, you exemplify what it means to be a citizen of the United States of America. We're grateful. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Flossy and M, detective agency, how many?